I'm Steve and today we're going to do our how to segment. This is going to be how to load a ribbon in the Magic Card Prima 4. It's a retransfer printer and I'm also going to show you another bad photo idea of the day. Um, and before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about this Magic Card Prima 4. It's a retransfer printer, which means it doesn't print directly onto the card. It has a lifetime warranty on the printhead, so you'll never have to buy another printhead with this printer and it has a three-year warranty and three-year loaner. It's the only printer, retransfer printer on the market that has a three-year loaner. Um, it does over-the-edge printing because it's not printing directly on the card. You don't have to leave a sixteenth of an inch white border around your card. So if you're looking for high quality printer printing, this is the printer for you. And it comes standard with USB and Ethernet. And you can also get the exclusive Magic Card feature, which is Holocode. It's a security feature that's in the overlay panel in the card that can be your logo or any security symbol that you want on there for added security at no additional cost. So now I'm going to introduce Kyle from our tech department down the hall and he's going to show us how you load the ribbons in the Magic Card Prima 4. Alright, so loading and unloading ribbons on uh, the Prima 4s. Um, a little bit tricky as to they need certain tensions on the ribbons and the retransfer film to align properly. So we'll just go ahead and start taking a look at that. Um, this is the basic, um, you know, what you're going to see when you open this cover. Um, the green is always going to be retransfer film. Um, that is basically uh, just a clear uh, film that the ink uses to, as a canvas, to print to the cards. Um, and then it will transfer to the actual card itself. Um, the ribbon cores are color coordinated, so if you are to look at these, right here we have green for the green cartridge, and we have yellow for the yellow cartridge. Um, Putting these on these cartridges are somewhat tricky, but they have um, conveniently put a little diagram as to how to wrap these around um, these, these prongs. Um, I'll go ahead and do that with this ribbon real quick. When you get these, they'll be just in an airtight bag. Um, you know, there'll be, there'll be a little clear plastic O-ring type ordeal around it just to keep it together. You'll peel that off. Um, you know, give yourself some slack. The RFID chip or ring goes face down onto the spool, just like that. And you'll just kind of follow this little diagram in here. And then you'll take the slack out of the ribbon. Now that you have the ribbon installed, there is directional arrows as to which way it needs to orientate into the cartridge. That's the ribbon, and the retransfer film is generally the same idea, just takes a little bit different path around the tension rods. Um, so we'll just go ahead and insert that back. Um, these do snap in. If you notice that they do not snap in, um, you most likely either haven't got the cores pushed all the way onto the cartridge or the cartridge has been miswrapped. Um, we'll go ahead and close up the door. The screen will state that the door is open or has been opened. You'll go ahead and click reset, initialize, and you'll click enter, and it will go ahead and start calibrating the ribbon and the retransfer film, and it will tell you that the printer is ready when it's complete. Okay, thank you Kyle. Now this printer looks really big, it has a laminator attached to it, so we're going to cover that in our next segment. Um, as promised, here's the bad photo idea of the day. And while you're looking at that, if you're not too scared, um, take, uh, take, some, take some time and see, think of any questions you might have for us to submit to us on uh, Facebook, on our website. And if it's used on the Ask Steve show, then we're going to send you a little gift for, for helping us out. Um, and also, if you can take five minutes and compare pricing um, on things you already have or things you're considering having for photo ID, um, we will give you a $5 uh, Starbucks card just for giving us the time to let you know how competitive we can be price-wise. 
And to find us, we're on the web at idedge.com, and our phone number is 800-798-3343. So people say it hasn't changed